Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some different popcorn seasonings. Uh, this is from Wabash Valley Farms, and we have the Ooh La La French Toast, the Lip Smackin' Baby Back Ribs, the Yes Ma'am Ketchup Please, and the Do Re Mi Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough. Uh, we found these at Meyer. Uh, they're a little pricey. I don't know how much popcorn seasonings normally cost. Uh, they were $8.99, so $9 for the four seasonings. We paid $7.19, so we got them on sale. So, uh, would you like to tr start with like some sweet ones? Cookie. Yeah. We'll okay. Do the so these the are toast. very, very basic. There's nothing on the actual bottles really. There's a label telling you what it is, and that's it. So uh, here's chocolate chip cookie dough. We have popped some popcorn. Uh, we popped it in regular uh, vegetable oil. We did not use baking grease or anything like that, like we normally like to use. Um, we didn't want to influence the flavor too much. And we are going. We are following their directions. The directions from Wabash Family uh, Valley Farms says to always add seasoning after popping. Uh, so we, uh, it says to shake it after you pop your popcorn on top of the popcorn. And so that is how we're doing it the way they want us to do it. So it says a fourth of a teaspoon is calories, five calories. Hmm. Oh, there's somewhere in there. So this is chocolate chip cookie dough. Anyway. Give me a lot. Did you go a lot? I got some, but this will be better. I coated it. Kevin did not even put salt on the popcorn. No, no. Butter, nothing. I get it. I don't know that I would call it chocolate chip cookie dough, but... Just sweet, really, more than mm -hmm. Yeah, it just adds a sweet flavor to your popcorn. It's not bad. So, mm. I think I'd rather have salty popcorn than that, but it's not. It's you not do bad. need to uh, coat it generously. Yeah. Um, it recommended, if you're going to make like a, a, lot. a, a bunch of it, mm -hmm. and not just trying it for a video, you probably want to put it in a bag of some kind and bag. shake it really mm -hmm. good. That um, way you get it evenly coated. Yeah. I mean, um, you really got to coat it because you really can't taste it much. I'll tell you what though. I really do like it. What do you want? French toast. French toast. I really do like mm -hmm. the flavor. I just think you need to be very generous with it. Don't be afraid go just to, to go for it. Um, okay, so each one of them mm. has a... Mm. Oh, that smells good. Um, so French toast, I'm assuming this is going to be some cinnamon and sugar. I would think so. Uh, sh the main ingredients, sugar, brown sugar. This and kind of uh, these are light brown orangey. Color. This is also five calories. Okay, here we go. Hmm. I get where they're going with it. It's the French toasty kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. A little bit of syrupy kind of flavor. A little bit of cinnamon. Yes. Now, which one do you sweet. like better between the two sweet ones? Uh, I like the French toast better because I think it just has more flavor. Um, it does have a nice flavor. It's sweet. Um, but honestly, I think I like the chocolate chip cookie dough better. Mm. What do you like more? I don't know. I just like that kind of syrupy kind of flavor from the french toast. There's a little bit of vanilla. It does. <clears throat> yes, it does have a cinnamon. Uh, it's a sweet cinnamon flavor. Uh, the cookie dough's not bad. But for me, out of the two, I'm going to pick the cookie dough. So, uh, yeah. so those yeah. are the sweet ones. Now, this one, I already opened it for you. It's called huh. Ketchup Please. And when I opened it, it smelled like ketchup. ketchup. Oh, yes. When I took that seal off, it was like, uh-huh. It was like, oh my goodness, that is totally ketchup. Uh, the, this one is zero calories. 
which you know it's probably still about I, I was told if it's five calories or under they don't have to put calories on things no company does so it's probably four calories um, you have to shake it out and this one was comfortable. And it's the same thing with the uh, the baby back ribs. Is It's going to be the same thing. They're all about the same calorie. Yeah, I'm going to have to get up. What's wrong in, with it? It's clumped up. Oh, is Either it that or you left the plastic on it. No, no I, it's took just clumped it, up. I took it off. Hold on, let me get a, get a fork and break it in. Yeah, I tried that. Huh. Fork. Well... Hopefully the date, hopefully the, the, the code. The date was fun. Okay. It says, try all of our great tasting popcorn seasonings from Wabash Fa Valley Farms. Whatever I keep wanting to say family farms, and it's Valley Farms. Whatever this is, whatever, however this is made, it's just, if it gets any moisture at all. Right, which makes sense. Definitely smells like ketchup. So popcorn, this kind of seasoning is not something that, that we ever used growing up because dad always cooked our popcorn in bacon grease. And so we didn't need to add anything like this. But I know a lot of you watching this have told me that you always buy popcorn seasoning. Yeah, that was something so, my family never did either. They didn't either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just something that we, you could add it, but we didn't need to add it. It didn't need any more flavor. That tastes like ketchup. Yeah, I don't care for it though. It tastes like ketchup. So if you like popcorn with some ketchup on it, that's what it tastes like. Um, it's got that vinegary tomato. Yes, kind of for me, it's very, very heavy on the vinegar. Mm. Um, it's not bad. It almost leaves an acidity in in um, an acidic flavor in my mouth. Um, Which makes sense. That's tomato. Yeah, and and it's, yeah, it totally makes sense. I'm not a uh, a die-hard ketchup lover like a lot of people are, though. I do like ketchup very much, but I think ketchup has its place, and it's not on my popcorn. No popcorn. <laughs> but I think a lot of you all would probably really like that. Now, the last one is baby bag ribs, and I didn't smell this one. It smells like barbecue. Ooh. I like that now smoky that, barbecue like flavor. I love that. Yeah, that's really good. That's delicious. That's my favorite one in the whole box. Mm -hmm. I like I mine too. Mm -hmm. um, I it like, has a smoky, but it's not spicy. It's not. It's no, not it's like, got a good smoky. Yeah, it uh, tastes like a smoky barbecue sauce. That's mm -hmm. delicious on that. That's really good. My, Honestly, if I were to buy them, I would probably buy just that one. I would too. I wouldn't get necessarily the variety pack unless nope. it's the only way you can get them. Um, I didn't think the ketchup one was bad, but it's not something I'd want to eat all the time. Mm -mm. Um, me personally, though, I'd rather just have salt and pepper. And, and You'd butter. rather just have plain popcorn. Yeah, I mean, instead of sprinkled on stuff, I'd rather just have popcorn with salt, pepper, mm -hmm. and some butter sprinkled on I it. really am impressed, though, with the that, good. With that uh, baby back rib. Mm -hmm. Um, because it, it just tastes like a smoky barbecue. And for me to say I would rather have that than the sweet stuff, yeah. that's saying a lot. Because I really like sweet food. Um, I tell you what though, if you make a full size bowl of popcorn, these aren't going to last very long. Well, no, but they only have, um, I was thinking, it's a, a fourth of a, a teaspoon is what it says. I thought it told you how many you could uh, have. Yeah, but even then, is. that's just how they're served. Oh, 30, one has 28 servings, one has 36, 39, But, but that's 26. just how they broke up the calories. Right. As far as how much you're actually going to eat on your popcorn, you're going to eat probably half of that container on your popcorn bowl. Yeah, you probably would because I Because you saw how much I was putting on there. Yes, and I would really want to get a lot of that baby mm -hmm. back rib flavor, uh, but I truly do like that a lot. Yeah. And I wonder if they sell these, like, can you buy these individually? I don't know because... This was a complete fluke even finding this. Yeah, we didn't see anything, any other ones. No, it was one box, one random box sitting on the shelf. 
And then when we got it, it was on sale. So we don't even know where it came from. Yeah, we don't um, know. Is this a Christmas thing they had out for Christmas? It was a gift idea? Or? Right, and somebody put it in their buggy and then laid it down no, somewhere. We don't, know. we don't have a clue why it was on sale. It was where the popcorn it. seasonings was, but there was no other ones like that around. It was the other Exactly. So have. it's like, okay, was this in the seasonal and yeah. at the end of the season and somebody picked it up and then they put it down in the popcorn. I don't yeah, know. Move, don't move. have a clue. Don't work out. So but, if, you, if you see these in your area, let us know where you buy them at. Cause, yeah. Um, yeah, we don't. And let us know if they have full size of that yeah. baby back rib because if you haven't had that, that is really, really good. And the sweet good. ones aren't bad. They're just, no. you know, it's not something I want to eat my popcorn all the time. I and we disagree on that. So you still like the French toast. I yeah, like the, just because I like that yeah. vanilla flavor. But honestly, either one of them are about the same. Yeah, honestly. they're good. They're both very good. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.